Hello class, my name is Yvette Lopez and today I will be doing a presentation on Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera was a well-known artist, not only because he married Frida Kahlo, but because he had many murals, either of them being in the United States or in Mexico. He was born in Guanajuato, Mexico in December of 1886. At the age of 10, he was given a scholarship by the government to study at the Academy of San Carlos in Mexico. Then he was given a grant to go study in Europe. From Europe, he went to Spain and then to Paris, where he picked up Cubism techniques and Impressionism. But then he eventually returned back to Mexico. Upon returning to Mexico, he met two other artists, one named Jose Clemente Orozco and the other one named David Alfaro Siquero. The three became known as Los Tres Grandes, where they made murals and put them on public buildings during the Mexican Revolution. His first important mural was called Creation. It was done in 1923 and placed at the Bolivar Auditorium of National Preparatory School in Mexico City. As many of his other paintings, he did use a technique called fresco. When using fresco, you use wet plaster along with watercolor. You paint on it rapidly so once it dries, the color penetrates onto the plaster and becomes fixed. When he ventured to the United States, he made many murals. One of them was in 1931 in San Francisco. The other one was in 1932 in Detroit in, in the Institute of the Arts. Then in 1933, he painted at the Rockefeller Center in New York. This painting was later taken down because it was found offensive. A fun fact about Diego Rivera is that he remade this painting and placed it at the Palace of the Fine Arts in Mexico City. His wives were Angelina Belov, a Russian artist who did most of her work in Mexico City. He married her from 1911 to 1921. Then he married a Mexican model named Guadalupe Marin in 1922 and divorced her in 1928. Later on, he was married to a well-known artist, Frida Kahlo. He married her in 1929, divorced her in 1940, remarried her in 1940, and stayed with her till she died in 1954. Then he married his last spouse in 1955 and stayed with her till he died in 1957. Diego Rivera died of congested heart failure in November of 1957. He did leave a interview that was done with Gladys March and she was able to turn it into a book called My Art, My Life. She published it in 1960. She used the interviews that she began in 1944 all the way to 1957. Diego Rivera's most ambitious mural was never finished. It was supposed to be one of the biggest, most gigantic murals in New Mexico. That is all I have on him and thank you for listening and thank you for your time.